So guess what? I'm not an M4. You know what that means. I sold the M4 a couple weeks ago. Uh, yep, she's gone. So I basically sold her um, through Kelly Blue Book Instant Cash Offer. Uh, I was about to sell it to an individual buyer before, but at the last minute he kind of bailed out and um, I basically ran out of patience. So I ended up selling the car earlier than I wanted to. Ideally, I would have sold a private party because I would have got much better value for it. But um, I ended up selling to Kelly Blue Book and I was kind of, it was whatever. The problem was that I drove the car every day and so I was keep, you know, kept putting miles on it um, even though I was trying to sell it and uh, ended up selling it with almost 34,000 miles on the odometer um, and uh, basically got $48,400 so keep in mind I leased so what that means is that they would take the buyout value of my car which was about 43000 and then take the agreed upon market value, which was 48,400. And that is the amount that I am getting paid. So give or take about four to five grand. Um, and so basically, you know, I, I'm okay with that. Uh, the reason why I went ahead and sold it quick is because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to hurry up and move out. I wanted to get this done because it was taking up so much of my time trying to sell it uh, through private party and I needed the time to work on my company, work on moving, and then also a whole bunch of like family stuff that's been going on. Uh, so got it done, but don't feel bad for me. I actually don't feel bad since I left the M4. Um, I don't really miss it as much. When I first got out of the M4, um, I was driving my mom's Lexus. Uh, it was like a Lexus ES330 2005. Now that is not a fun car to drive, but it's it's whatever. It's not too bad. Um, I actually felt a lot of freedom coming from the M4. Where in the M4, everywhere you go, you have to watch where you park. Um, you know, you have to every time you park somewhere, someone parks next to you. You know, you got to look at the car and like keep worrying about you know someone danger car. Um, I was at a point where I was like very sensitive about the mileage, so you know this was there were times where I didn't want to drive as far to you know to see people or whatever. And then um, also the Lexus was better on gas, the Lexus ES330, even though it was a six cylinder. Um, it's basically impossible to go fast in that car. Like no matter how hard you mash the pre the pedal, um, you're just not gonna go anywhere. So um, moving on, I basically am out of the Lexus ES330, and I am now in a BMW M235i. So this two series is actually pretty fun. Um, it feels good being in Lexus for about a couple weeks to go back into a BMW. Um, I love having Sirius XM. Actually, I miss Sirius XM a lot. Although I have music on my phone, I have Spotify and stuff, I miss Sirius XM. Um, and then, you know, back to, you know, having leather and, you know, nav and all that stuff. Um, but the number one thing in this car compared to the Lexus is that it's a fun car to drive and I was able to just test that out. I just came back from Stunhold Mulholland where I met up with my friend Hunter. Um, he's on Instagram as Yas Madness. Uh, check him out. He has a pretty pretty dope car. He's sponsored by Dining and shit. Um, but yeah, we were just driving through the canyons and this car can hang. I was worried that like I would really miss not having an LSD. That was one of the things when I was looking at this car, you know, it has an open diff. It doesn't have, you know, a, an LSD. And I thought that was really gonna miss that because I really like the LSD and the M4. But the thing is that the size of this car is really perfect. I mean, the M4 is big. Like I said before, my biggest gripe with the M4 was that it was so big. It was, it, the M4 is the size of an E39 5 Series. And when you think about that, you're just like, you know, that's kind of wrong for something that's supposed to be, you know, a performance car. Um, you know, it, it's really big. And you know, the, the M4 was a ton of fun to drive. 
it's still a really good car um but this is a cool package um i'm gonna be daily driving this uh it probably will not be parked in a garage um so i won't feel as bad it is black uh so it's gonna be look dirty the majority of the time because it's really hard to keep black cars clean black cars clean um but but it'll be fun i think uh I really, really, and I've said this before, but I really want to focus on becoming a better driver with this car. Um, so I don't want to go mod crazy. Like you can, you could, you know, do full bolt-ons on this car. But the one thing that I really kind of dislike about this car is the sound. It's super quiet. Um, so I really think I'm gonna probably do like catted downpipes or uh, maybe the MP because those are actually really cheap. You know what's crazy? The M Performance exhaust on an M4 costs like $3,500, and the M Performance exhaust on this car is like a grand. Uh, that's that's just to show you how M tax works. Um, no M tax on the M Performance cars. <laughs> um, but yeah, otherwise I'm pretty happy. So, kind of change the direction of my life, and um, you know, I'm content with this. It'll suffice. Um, I really, really, my dream goal is a GC3, and so I don't mind driving this with the idea that I will reach to a 911 GT3 um, in the near future. A couple years, it's gonna take some time. It's an, an expensive car. But I would love to do Euro delivery with a Carmine Red GT3. That's the goal. So yeah, um, let me know what you think. Um, obviously, this is a downgrade from an M4. There's no doubt about that. I missed the way you know the M4 looked. It was such a good-looking car. Um, but yeah, let, let me know what you think about my whole switch of cars. Um, what do you think about the N235i? Because I feel like it's very much overlooked car. Everybody looks at the M2, looks at the M4, but the M235 eyes don't really get a lot of love, and the same thing for the M240s, but it's actually not bad at all. It doesn't, it's not a looker, but it's not bad. So yeah, let, let me know what you think. Um, if you have another car in mind that I should have got instead of this car, or that I should get next after this car while waiting to, you know, get a GT3, um, let me know. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And like always, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And uh, make sure to subscribe. Laters.